Bazalone, it is time to reflect. What sin are you refusing to let go of? Even though Mkulukule has set you free. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 10 verse 26 to 27. For if we sin willfully after we have received the knowledge of the truth. There no longer remains a sacrifice for sin. Amen. But a certain fearful expectation of judgment. And God's anger which will devour the adversary. Amen. I'm speaking to my brothers and sisters who call themselves righteous but continue to lie. You say you are Thank you. <laughs> oh girl, what church is that that ends after two seconds? I literally want to go. Two seconds? Not even. This thing has been going on. I just had to switch it off. How? Oh, why? This pastor, he's all about sin this and sin that. This is wrong. I, mm -mm, I don't like his tone. Also, Jesus washed away all our sins. Oh, um, what does that mean again? Ha-ha, <laughs> Tina. Tina Bagheed. It means we have grace. Grace is God's mercy, so basically, there's no more sin. And even if we do sin, grace covers us. Okay, wait, so you're telling me that I'm going to struggle with my feelings for Christ until I die? Child, not even Jesus can help you with that, okay? <laughs> no one can help you with that. <laughs> but honestly, friend, I'm tired of feeling bad about something that the Bible clearly says. It says, Jesus died for my sins and I have been set free. Sin is dead. I'm alive. It's so simple. Interesting. But I feel like I'm not one to say anything. But the inner PK in me feels like you keep making up excuses to keep gossiping about your boss. Look at you, Pastor Dina. Are you judging me? No, I'm not judging you. But I can clearly remember that there's a verse in the Bible that says that people who lie are children of the devil or something. Wow. Well, the Bible says a lot of things, okay? Including the fact that I cannot be condemned because Jesus Christ is in me. So even though I add my spices and my sauce to my very interesting stories, by the way, mm -hmm. it's fine because Grace covers me. Well then, I hope Grace covers this hangover then. Good night, girl. Good night. Girl, it's 10 a.m. <laughs> Fix your life. <laughs> Oh, hi, Speedway. Hi, Sister Grace. Just a person I wanted to see. Nice so over today. Ah, oh, praise Jesus. We praise God. Listen, please pick this mic nicely and everything else perfectly. Okay? Alright, okay. I'll see you Sunday. Sister Grace! Oh, my dear. Worship was so lovely today. Praise Jesus. <laughs> How are you? Not so good. Is it still that living condition with your boyfriend? Yes. He said to me that if I move out, we may as well break up. Like, I love him and I don't want to lose him. My dear, you are so beautiful and I understand what you're going through. But let me ask you this. Are you married to this boy? No, we're not married. Then according to God, you are single. <laughs> you can't be adopting the ways of the married when you are not married. Okay, I get that. I, I really do. But we've both agreed and promised that we're not going to do anything until we're married. I understand. Again, I understand that part. But you need to trust God to bring you a husband that will honor his principles. Sweetheart, you are young and temptations will come knocking at your door. But you need to allow the Holy Spirit to fully operate in you. And you can't do that when you have this silly boy all over your mind. Sister Grace, this is so hard. Like, how did you do it? Whew. To be honest, it wasn't easy, mm. but the God we serve is faithful and I trust he will honor my sacrifice. And remember, being alone doesn't mean we're lonely. That's right. 
listen i have to rush home i have a delivery but don't be scared to call me or text me if you need anything problem i love you so much so so i love you too bye, bye. That from the eye, shall you see? The petty case is low and the envelopes very empty, and it's not the first time. So I ask you again, he that from the eye, shall you not see? Hey, Baba, are you sure you didn't lock Jesus inside there? <laughs> Just in time, James. Let's go make bad decisions. But you can't leave our sponsor out. Nice. Did you bring the drinks, bro? Yeah, bro. We sorted for the next three months. Okay, okay. Ah, all thanks to you. <laughs> Don't thank me. Thank the faithful titles. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my love. Hey, beautiful. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing fine. And how's it feeling now? I'm getting better. Mm. And brunch with the girls? Ah, oh, babe, can you believe it? I missed it because the church ran over again. You know, I just want a church where we get in at 10, worship, hear the word, and out by 12. I still wonder how you guys managed to listen to the word. <laughs> when is that noisy? Babe, it's a bit fun sometimes because my pastor loves fighting demons. Every day it's up and up to Jesus' name. <laughs> but enough about that. Let me surely get you a glass of wine while me and my boys prepare a meal so that we can have it every time. Is that okay? Oh, okay, please, my love. I'm leaving it this to us. I'm good, but friend, listen. So I need to tell you this. So right now I'm at Woolies, right? And I kid you not, I'm staring at Jane the Saint. And guess what? What? She is walking with another man. No way. Friend, it's not her husband. It's some hunk, literally. Are you sure? Friend, it's Jane. I'm, I'm making a noise even now, like <laughs> it's changed the thing. <laughs> oh my goodness! You know what? Actually, I'm so glad you called. I really need that gas. So if you can bring it over to me, we can like talk about this whole thing right now. Ah, uh -uh, friend, it's leaking. I told you, what's in and gang? Sure, but I've got load shedding right now. I can't deal with this load shedding. That like, I really need the gas right now. But like also, if I like I share so that it doesn't leak. Okay, okay, it's fine. I'll bring it for you, friend. I'll just make sure it's fine. Thank you. Okay, cool. I'll see you now. Now, and okay, you're gonna have to tell me about this. I will tell you the whole thing. Jane the Saint, the Jane the Saint, right now. I'm <laughs> I need to get out of here. <laughs> okay, friend, I'll see you now.
For you, I'm here. How far are you? Yo, that's so far. Yo, okay, no, I'll wait. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just feeling a bit tired, but it's fine. It's fine, I'll wait. I have it here. Okay, cool. Shut up. God. No, almost. I'm an angel of the Lord. I've been sent here to warn you. Wait, what kind of pills are they giving me here? This is not your imagination, Caesar. The Lord is calling you to repent. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 9 to 10 makes it very clear that thieves will not inherit the kingdom of God. You serve in the house of the Lord, yet you steal from the very God that you serve. Your church attendance is no different to your tavern attendance. God will not be mocked, Caesar. Revelations 3 verse 16 says that if you are neither hot nor cold, he will vomit you out. Is that what you want? I'm so ashamed. Please forgive me. I'm not the forgiver of sins. But I will send you help. How? Wait. Come back. How? What? Son, how are you? I'm not good. I think I was visited by an angel. They said that God can't be mocked. I'm going to hell. I can't live like this anymore. I need to repent. Calm down. There's still hope. Jesus is still the Savior, and He will set you free. The Bible says if we confess our sins, He's faithful to forgive us. That's exactly what you need to do. You will get through it. It will pass. This too shall pass. I think we have to see the pastor about this. Mm -hmm. 
Until one day, when I was mugged and beaten mm. to the point where I almost died, mm. that's when I saw that Jesus saved my life. Mm. But today I'm here to tell you guys about a Jesus of second chances. He gave me a chance. That's what he can do for me too. Amen. 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 Where am I? Is this judgment day? What's going on? No. This is your waiting chamber in Hades. You will be waiting here until judgment day. But, but, but why? Proverbs 20 verse 19. A gossip betrays confidence, so avoid those who talk to you. Gossip is what got you here, Tim. But Angel, I was just sharing stories in the office to make it interesting, that's all. How can that be sin? That is not what you did. You lied, you gossiped, you manipulated, even to the point of destroying people's lives. Proverbs 19 verse 9 says a false witness will not go unpunished, and he who speaks lies will perish. Okay, okay, I hear you. I see, Angel, I see. I'm sorry. I, I didn't think it would cause any harm, Angel. Please, please, just give me another chance. Hebrews 9.27 For a man is appointed to die once, and after this, the judgment. No, no, Angel, please, please, no. No, no, no. Where am I? Where am I? Why am I burning? Who are you? You are in a chamber and waiting. This is a place called Hades. You will be here until the day of judgment. But why? I don't understand. <laughs> Wait. Well, oh, I loved God. I lived for God. What am I doing here? I want to go home. <laughs> According to Revelation 21 verse 8, the home of the sexually immoral is the lake of fire. Okay, I get it. I lived as a fornicator, but I led young women into the right path. If they go to heaven, it's because of me. Shouldn't it come for something? Yes, yes, it comes for everything. For them. Huh? For it is written that each man will account himself to God. Grace, if you had truly repented, if you had turned your heart to know God, there would be an opportunity for redemption. But now 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 9 to 10 makes it very clear that 
fornicators will not inherit the kingdom of God. No, angel, angel of God, please, please, I am begging you, let me go back on earth and relieve. Please, I'll do right, I promise, please. I'm burning. Hebrews 9, 27. For it is appointed for man to die once, and after this, the judgment. No! I will take you to your No! No! Greetings, this is Prophet K. Zungu, the set man at Kingdom Ambassadors Network International. You have just watched a Ken production short film titled The Narrow Gate. If you identify as a Caesar, a Grace, or a Tembi, in that you are a believer, you love Jesus, however, you deny him by your conduct because you are deliberately living in sin, then today is your day of second chance. Just like Caesar, today you can confess your sins and repent and come back truly to the Lord. If you've never given your life to Christ, again, I invite you to join us in this prayer that will absolutely change your life. My brother, my sister, you do not need to end up in the lake of fire. You do not need to end up in chains of fire. Today is your day of redemption. Please pray with me. Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I confess before your throne. I am a sinner. I have sinned before you. I need your mercy and I need your grace. You say in your word, I can approach your throne of grace with confidence, knowing I'll receive mercy and find grace in times of need. Lord, I'm in a time of need. I know you are my personal Lord and Savior. I thank you that you died for me and that God raised you from the dead. I confess you as Lord. And I receive you into my life as Lord. Change my life. Change my way of life. I come back to you and I thank you for a second chance. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. If you have said that prayer, congratulations. You are now rededicated to our Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says there was a woman who was caught in adultery. When everyone else condemned her, the Bible says Jesus afforded her grace, but said one very important command, go and sin no more. That's what I say to you today. The grace of the Lord has covered you. Again, you have a second chance, but go and sin no more. If you would like prayers, personal prayers, or a counseling session one-on-one -on -one with myself, please click the link on the description box below. If you'd like to visit us, we are at the Kingdom Embassy, Corner 11th Road, 3rd Avenue, Q, Johannesburg. Again, our address will be on the screen shortly. Thank you so much. Cannot wait to meet you in person. Amen.